Hello students, welcome back. This is going to be a quick shellacking on paper demonstration just to show you how you can make a drawing on paper and cover it with shellac so you can paint on top. So, I've got a can of amber shellac here. These are thicker papers. This is a printmaking paper, Canson edition. And I have drawn some portraits on here. And we're going to put a first coat of shellac on here with just a sponge brush. Usually it's best to use something that you can just throw away afterwards. Um, if this is a little bit too thick or tacky, you can thin it out with denatured alcohol. Um, but I just tend to use it straight out of the can. So we'll go through, put a coat on here, then we'll and dip some more put some on the second portrait so you're trying to coat this evenly or as evenly as you can you don't want to leave any spots that are too thin um, and you're welcome to always do this in multiple passes I usually go through and add one coat and then right after I'll go back to the other one and add a second coat. I usually put it on pretty liberally, pretty thick, because you want it to be um, sealed. You want the paper to be closed off so you can see your drawing, but you're painting on top of the shellac, and that that is nice and thick. Um, so sometimes it takes about 15 minutes to dry. You can walk away, come back, paint again, um, I think I put this on thick enough that I'm pretty happy with the first coat. So here's the first two portraits, and we're probably going to go through and do two more. <laughs> So now that we have most of this covered, we'll just go back through and add a second coat to the first one. And you can see as you add the second coat, the color just becomes a little bit more solid, kind of more orangey amber color. And it means that you've sealed off the paper and you have a nice um, layer to go through and paint with oil on top of it. Here's a quick coat on top of the second one. Nice and liberal, lots of shellac. We want to seal that paper. And that's about it. 